Hello everyone, it is Carly. Thank you so much for joining me for a new episode of Crafting with Class. Today I am sharing the Anna Griffin Create Crop at Home 4. I'm doing an unboxing and giving you my first impressions. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, look what's here. It's the Anna Griffin Create Crop at Home 4 box. I'm so excited. So this box I received today but it was thankfully to a good Samaritan because it was actually delivered to the wrong address and the person at, you know, where this was delivered to brought it to my house so that I was like, oh, thank you so much. I don't even know what, <laughs> how much I can say thank you for that. Anywho, it's all good now. Thank you to the good, kind people out there in the world still. All right, so I'm going to go through and open this. I have not opened it other than just to take it out of the box. So I'm going to share with you in real time what I think of everything. You know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Now, I am going to probably edit just for removing like, you know, the wrappers and stuff because I don't like all that noise in the video. But other than that, you're going to see my honest opinion. So let's get started. Now, first of all, the cover is like this gray, like a pale gray with all these beautiful florals. And with Crop at Home, you get one box. With Create, you get two. So let's open. Now, let's open up the envelope. Okay, so here is the envelope. And the envelope, of course, matches the box. And... You get the welcome to crop at home. You have a little message um, about the event. You have a breakdown of the schedule. Um, what you need to, um, you know, tools you'll need. And then you have a little pin. And this here, the pin is this like sagey green. It's very pretty. So I think that's it. Yeah. So there is... The contents of the envelope. Let's go ahead and check out what. Let me stick this back in here. All right, so let me let's check out the first thing here is the album. Here is the scrapbook, and the scrapbook was covered in wrapper. So here is uh, it's a 12 by 12 album. Let me open it up. There's uh, protector like a protective paper and honestly I love that it's three ring bound because it makes it so easy to like you know adjust pages and add take away you know all that but yeah there's 20 I believe is there 20 or 10 pages in here can't remember there's 10 so you're gonna get 20 layouts so yay Look at that. So, yes, I'm so glad she moved to those. I mean, I prefer them at least. All right, so there's the beautiful album. Here, first thing up is the tools. I'm excited because for the first time, I believe, I don't think she's done this before for Crop at Home, the dies are 3D dies, you know, so those really engrave and emboss like a boss. I love them. So let's open it up. So here is, oh, wow, these are super pretty. Of course, you know. <laughs> so, and I cannot wait to see what they look like once you die cut them because, you know, they're going to be like next level because these won't just cut, but they'll engrave and emboss and all that. So you get one, two, three, four, five border dies, and they all have their shadows. So there's the border dies. And then you get, oh, let me open this up. So here are, you get two sets. Um, and so they, I believe the biggest one measures five by seven. Well, let me double check, actually. So this is, yes, so five by seven, end to end. Um, and then you have your concentric layers for, like, titles or journaling. 
you know, things like that. But you definitely, you know, you can use this on your 5 by 7 cards as well. And I believe these match. Or I might be wrong. These match. Yeah, they match. So this one, well, maybe not. Or is it this one? Yeah, yeah. This one matches this one. And then this one matches the top one. So that's nice. So that's pretty. Ooh, this one caught my eye right away. Reminds me like of a herringbone. So yeah, they definitely match. Although, I don't, did I see one like that? Oh yeah, there is. They all match. They all match. So pretty. Now I noticed this year she didn't give like the title dies, the word dies, but I guess because she made them 3D, you know, kind of to offset the cost, which I'm super okay with. But yeah, so here's the Crop at Home 4 Frames Inspiration Sheet. There it shows you which ones they are. Very nice. All right, let's take a look. Next up, okay, this is the Phoebe. Phoebe. Oh, okay, this looks like it matches the um, the box. Okay. All right, finally there. Let me take out the whole thing. All right, so you have your embellishments, and these are sticker embellishments. They're not 3D embellishments, but there you can see a little sampling of what those look like. And then you have borders. So these are sticker borders. And so you have, let me see, one, two, three, four of each, I believe. So there's those, those, ooh, that's pretty. There and there, so you get those sticker borders. And then you get these um, gold foil embellishments. And then, let me open this, you get um, a few of these like title cards like this that's a few of those and then you get these uh, so this is I guess instead of the dies and she's giving you the stickers which is fine oh that's that's pretty okay oh you get two of them so wishes cheers bright love story peace smile and then blessed best to good sweet travel precious grateful and they're foil stamped and yeah they're stickers so cardstock stickers all right so there's that now let's look at the papers all right okay let's take a look i will fan them out i think there's is there six of each five nope six seven eight there's eight. Oh my goodness three let me double check it might be more oh no because they're it's the same pattern but they're two different like tones can you see like this is more lilac and this is like gray at first one's like wow she's really giving us a ton of paper <laughs> okay so there's one two three four so you get four sheets of each um so there's that one and then here's the back this pretty bright pink so there's that and then um, next is this the same pattern actually let me flip them this way so it's the same pattern but except in gray this one was like lavender and then the back of this one is this it's like a gray like a grayish with a blue tone to it okay so same color but you have like these flourishes and then the other side is this so it's like this blue gray and then the other papers are the same flourishes but like in lilac and then the back is that lilac floral so these two are the same those two are the same and then this green so it's light green and dark green with that foil i think you can see it there and oh oops hold on i grabbed the purple already 
And then we have this damask in the same green. Pretty, pretty. And then the purple. Oh, that's so pretty. And then on the back of the purple, I'm sure it's the purple damask. Oh, no. See, see, you never know. So it's this pattern here and the same lilac. And then, oh, this is pretty. I mean, you know, it sparkles and shines, so it's going to catch my eye. But this is gold and, and that ivory. Super pretty. Oh, my goodness, this was a surprise. <laughs> so there's this one. And this one matches the box for sure. And then there's this one with that pretty green and then this design with that pink so yeah so i see lilacs and light grays and pinks and greens all the pretty things all right so this is the phoebe collection so let's take a look at the next one okay next is faded rose and yes this definitely gives me like wedding anniversary vibes so let's see what's in here oh this is very like to me vintagey looking so let me open the embellishments so these are all roses from what i can see so they're like like gray and ivory so roses and there's like a bigger rose another rose a smaller rose and then you have the same roses, but like in a sepia tone. So those very muted browns and grays. So I love that they're all roses. <laughs> I'm not mad about that. Okay. So there's that. And you have your gold foil embellishments. Oh, these borders look beautiful. Look at these borders. These are beautiful. Probably because, you know, the roses really, really attract me. But look how beautiful. Oh, I just love that combination. It's just so pretty. You get four of them. And I believe they're stickers. Yeah, they feel like it. So there's this beautiful rose. And then this all gold with the <clears throat> little scallop. And then the little roses that are, like, etched in there. Look how pretty. And then the next border. So you have this design. Very pretty. Something you'd see like, you know, like some castle or something. Like a, yeah, a palace. And then you have this border. Yeah, so those are the borders. I like these. These are so pretty. All right, so there are the borders. So there's four. One, two three yes four designs and then let's look at the titles so here you have a few cards here like live in the moment thankful for us life is magical special moments so they're all different but within that color scheme and then you have um the word cards so you get one with the words and these are different from the other set but they're still like that gold and ivory so again uh, and then that one so pretty all right so there are those okay so let's take a look at the papers I you know know about like ivory like what color would this like a kind of like a craft color with like grays but you know what i'm feeling it all right so there's that beautiful rose pattern i love it let's look at the back oh that's pretty too so there's that so you four of those very pretty and then there is this one so it's again like grays like a gray scale and then on the back so you have lots of like flowers botanicals there. 
and then the back is that pattern then the next one is this which is um, gold foil they look like little mirrors let's see and let's see what's on the other side oh, oh hold on oh I see okay so subtle though there's two of these so I'm gonna bring it close so as you can see hopefully this one is like um like I like a little dark not dark but like a brown like a light brown and then this one's that um gray so it's like tan and gray that's what I want to say so same pattern just different color on the inside and then you have this paper on the back there that tan paper with florals and then this is the same pattern but with gray in the middle Ooh. <laughs> oh this is pretty so you have this garden of roses in gray so again in gray scale because there's different shades of gray and then look at this oh that is so pretty that's like wrapping paper from like an expensive store so pretty oh and you get two because you get like the, the ivory and then the gray with that foil stamp pretty pretty and oh the back is just as pretty oh this this you know this needs to be a double-sided kind of thing because i would hate to cover up both sides look at how pretty it shines i'm thinking perfume box kind of papers you know look at how pretty and then it's got the same pattern just with the gray background yeah okay next we have this pattern again with the gold foil and then on the back it's got this one and we saw this one already and so now it's in like that ivory and tan and then this pattern it's got those little i forget what this design is called but i have a stencil and an embossing folder with this design and then oh look at the back so this one is like tans and ivories and um grays see i wouldn't think to put these colors together because i just think tans and grays but you know what i i don't know i'm liking it something new for me all right, so that is Faded Rose. Now, I am making this album for my grandbaby who is now six months old. Can you believe it? So I may swap out this one for like Annalise from the uh, Crop at Home 3. Um, I may do that. So anyway, we'll see. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, the last collection is Virginia. I wonder what these are all named after or if they're named after something in particular. I don't know if you know. Let me know. All right. Let's check out Virginia. All right. So you have these different um, roses again, like little roses, pinks, and like mustards. Mm, see, again, like this speaks to me because I love roses so much. Okay, all kinds. I think we've seen these before, right? Are they part of her collection? Because some of these look familiar to me. So, yeah, look at those. Now, this, the gold foil, are not just the filigree things that I've seen before, or little swirls, but these have botanicals. They have hummingbirds and butterflies, bows, so a little bit other kind of things in the in this one. Okay, borders. Oh, look, look at how pretty. I love that like ribbon. Looks like ribbon just flowing. They're so pretty. Then you have this green uh, rose. Oh, that's pretty too. 
So you have this, oh, and it comes in two colors. So you have the blue with the gold foil and then this pink rose. Oh, look how pretty. <laughs> All right, so there's those, I like that. Okay, let's look at the titles. Okay, so here are some titles. So they're all color-coded to this collection, of course. And then you have three sheets. Again, you have the word ones in ivory and gold foil. And then, oops, these, these got stuck together. Um, okay, so then you have these. So pretty. So, oh, look at how pretty these colors are. So these, this is like, you have like dark, like turquoises, just all the colors really. I mean, they're all represented here. So pretty. Love these, this gorgeous floral paper. And then the back. Oh, you can have a matching one there. Oh, pretty. I like this too. So you see that. Definitely saw these flowers in that collection. Of embellishments and then you have the screen version so pretty and then you have a like sagey green damask pattern and then there's this one and you have the green and then this this is like a blue like a gray blue with pink and then you have this like sage green. Look at these two nicely. And then here's the green version. And try not to click the next one. And then, oh, it's the same as the other one. Do, do, do. Yes, they're the exact same one. Okay, so there's that. Okay, then there is this Ooh, look at that gold foil so you have little pinks on the inside and then you have one that has little greens on the inside and you have this pattern on the back of the pink one and on the one with the green insides what? That's unexpected. Look at how pretty. Oh, this is so cute. I just really like this pattern. It reminds me of like that Hawaiian stuff. Forget what it's called right now. But anyway, look at how pretty. And it's got gold. So that's the back of this one. The Hawaii stuff. So cute. Look at how cute. And then there's this pink pattern and on the back oh another one oh I love it <laughs> I love it I love it look this one is like like a peachy pink and then these are like pink pink I hope you can see the difference hope it's coming across so like the peachy pink and then the pink pink oh I love this paper I don't want to use it for scrapbooking <laughs> all right so cute oh that's pretty this is like we've seen this one already right so pretty and on the back you have this pattern all right so that is the book collection of virginia all right i'm liking virginia let's look at the swag Finally is the swag pouch. Let's see what's in it. All right. Let's open this up. What do you guys think so far? I like it. All right. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. All right. Let's let's take a look. So flying out of the box, we have some ivory and green ribbon we have some gold foil cardstock which you know i always use whoopsie okay let's take a look at these because i know they're not all lilac but look at how pretty this lilac oh i like it 
let's see. So you get lilac. You get this really pretty green. Oh, I love that green. So pretty. You get this like, it's not gold gold. Maybe like a champagne gold. Because look at how it looks next to gold gold. I don't know what gold color that is. But it's very pretty. It goes beautifully with the others. And then you have this pink. So this is like very eastery colors so those are pretty and next you have some journaling tags in all the colors and last but not least you have the text weight papers okay so here are the text weight papers and i'll just kind of fan them out so these are like the cardstock oh not this one though that wasn't in cardstock but look at how pretty that is looks like embroidery let me bring it up closer so look at how pretty that is it looks like it's embroidered okay so there's there's four of each and usually she'll save these for like paper tricks and things like that oh that one's pretty too and then you have this pink pattern here. So that is, that's everything in the Crop at Home 4. What did you think? I like the, the three ring binder style of scrapbook. I do like all three collections. Usually there's one that I'm like, meh, but I actually liked all three collections. And um, what did you think of not having the the word dies included instead just doing the stickers i like i said i don't really mind um because i have both of her word um uh, word titles already so and i do love her um the way she did 3d um borders and 3d frames i love that addition so i'm very excited to see what we make i'm gonna work this weekend on prepping uh, as much as I can. I'm going to watch the videos. I know she just released those. So that will be it for me. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite collection or which one do you think was the prettiest? I mean, they're all pretty, you know, right? But I'm very excited. I like all this. This is all good. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Until next time. Bye. If you want to check out Create Crop at Home 3 from last year, I will leave that here. Thanks again. Bye.